Hello, this is Enterprise News Headlines. I am Angela Akma. The Minister of State for Aviation, Hadi Serikar, has clarified that the federal government would inject $55 million in 2018 as an upfront grant to finance the startup capital of the new national carrier. The Infrastructure Concession Regulatory Commission had made it clear that the strategic equity investors would not start the national carrier, but the government in order to attract credible investors. According to Sirica, the $55 million upfront grant, which he described as viability gap funding contribution to equity, would be sourced through either the supplementary budgetary allocation in 2018 or development financial institution like Afism Bank, African Development Bank, and Islamic Development Bank. He explained that these funding institutions have indicated keen interest to fund the national carrier project because of its bankability and profitability profile. Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo on Monday assured international community and investors of the present administration unwavering commitment towards the implementation of strategies and policies with a view of achieving economic development. He made the pledge while addressing participants at the second edition of Capital Market Stakeholders Forum, organized by the National Assembly Joint Committee on Capital Markets and Institutions in Abuja. The Director General of Debt Management Office, President Oniha, who represented the Vice President, outlined the policy initiative to include economic growth and development plan, unprecedented investment in capital projects in the past three years, tax incentive, and the ease of doing business. According to him, the strategies and policies are aimed at attracting investors into various sectors of the economy, with the aim of growing and diversifying the economy. In Africa, President Paul Kagame and the Chinese President Xi Jinping has said cooperation between both countries is set to improve going forward building on the 15 bilateral agreements the two countries signed. The two heads of state made the remarks while addressing a joint conference shortly after witnessing the signing. Both countries signed 15 bilateral memorandum of understandings and agreements. The agreements include visa exemption for diplomatic and service passport holders, cultural and scientific cooperation and co code economic belt cooperation. Other agreements signed include those aimed at threatening cooperation in investment, in e-commerce, cooperation in civil air transport, law enforcement cooperation and human resource development cooperation. Still on the African continent, Kenya's e-commerce is now estimated at 6% of all purchases made in 2017. According to United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, Secretary General Mukisa Kutuyu who says that despite low levels of e-commerce activity, Kenya is leading the continent alongside South Africa and Nigeria. Kutuyu was speaking at the African Union e-commerce conference in Nairobi says the continent is however lagging behind compared to Western Europe, where e-commerce accounts for 75% of all purchases. He said adequate regulation and political goodwill will drive the e-commerce growth going forward. Kituyu called on African government to continue championing the use of e-commerce through creating an enabling environment for developers and entrepreneurs. And on the foreign scene, shares in Alphabet, Google's parent company, jump as much as 5% in after hours trading after the firm reported stronger ad sales than expected. Alphabet entered $2.7 billion in revenue in three months to the end of June, up from 26% same period last year. The company reported net income of $3.2 billion. Without a fine, it would have been almost $3.8 billion, the firm said. The EU said Google had used the mobile operating system to illegally cement its dominant position in search. Alphabet is appealing decision, which drove 36% increase in cost in the quarter. Moving down to sports, Korean automotive manufacturer Hyundai has signed a multi-year sponsorship deal with Italian Serie A football club AS Roma. The deal covers the 2018 to 2019 seasons. Hyundai will serve as Air Roma's global automotive partner and will also benefit from logo placements on the back of the club shirts. The deal marks the first of its kind for Hyundai in Italian football. However, a range of marketing initiatives will be organized to promote the partnership. And that's it on Enterprise News Headlines for today. For more news updates, special reports and shows, you can visit our website www.enterprisetv.tv. Our social media platform are always there for your all-round information. In the world of business, I am Angela Akman. Many thanks for watching.